to sublimate a linen pencil case. For this project, you will need a flat press, a ruler, a linen pencil case, tape resistant tape and tape dispenser, and a lint roller. Let's begin by measuring the linen pencil case. Take your ruler and measure the height of your pencil case. Pencil case measures 6.13 inches in height. Now let's measure the width. The width of the pencil case is 9.5 inches. Let's take this information over to Canva. Let's create the template for the linen pencil case. Go over to the top and select custom size. For these type of projects, I'm going to be using the size of my sublimation paper. Change the units into inches and input the width of 8.5 inches and the height of 11 inches. Then select create new design. Go over to the left hand side and select elements. The theme of our pencil case is going to be back to school. In the search elements, select freeform old school pen. Then select see all under graphics. Choose the image that you would like to use. I want to use this pen here. Notice how under the pen you have other suggestions. Select see all under those suggestions. I'm going to be using the pack of pens, the ruler, and the flower pen. Next, we're going to size each one, starting with this first pen. I'm rotating mine just a little bit, and I'm going to size this one to 1.6 inches by 3.1. Next, we're going to use the pack of pens. This one measures 1.8 inches by 3.2. Place it right next to the other pen, making sure you have a bit of spacing. Next will be the ruler. We're going to rotate this one so that it is straight. Size the ruler to 3.4 inches by 1.7. Lastly, we're going to use the pen with the flower. This one will measure 1.4 inches by 3.2. Select all and group. Size the group images to 3.6 inches by 7.4. 7.4 being the width. Now you can duplicate the same group of images to place them on both sides of your linen pencil case. At the top, title your image. Go over to Share, select Download, change the file type to PDF Print, select Flatten PDF and Save Download Settings, then select Download. Select Save one more time, then open the file. Open the print manager for the sublimation printer you are using. I'm using a Sawgrass SG500, so I will be opening up PrintMate. Take your design and drag it into the add files. Make sure that mirror is turned on and change the product type to polyester. Go over to color management. Scroll down to color mode and change the settings to vibrant, then select print. Now that our design has printed, let's begin prepping. Tear it down the middle using your fingers and then tear the edges. This will help so the lines are not embossed or marked onto your fabric. Next, clean your linen pencil case using a lint roller and place it on your press to adjust pressure and to preheat for five seconds. Then place your print onto your linen and tape it using heat resistant tape. We are going to press it at 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 seconds. When the time is up, remove the paper right away. Congratulations on sublimating your first linen pencil case. Look how beautiful and vibrant these colors turned out.